How many here um, know what I'm talking about if I talk about polarization of light? Some of you. How many here have ever had polarized sunglasses? Yeah, what, do anyone here know what they mean by polarized sunglasses? Like polarized in what way? Left, right? Liberal, conservative? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah? It's like a filter of light. It's a filter. I, I don't have, sorry, I forgot to bring my polar sunglass. I do have these um, polarizing filters. This is what's on your polarizing sunglass except higher quality. And uh, when I put this in uh, front of a light source, and it's this light source, um, nothing happens. It just makes the light dimmer. Um, that's not very interesting. You get something in, so um, it's because the light coming from the projector is an unpolarized light. So when I put this polarizing filter in, right now you kind of take my word for it that it's polarized. But when you have two polarizing filters, I can actually show you what happens um, when a polarized light tries to go through a polarizing filter. As I turn this, the Intensity changes. Depending on the orientation of the second one, either the transmitted intensity goes to zero, or it can go to something that I guess you could call maximum. Okay. So, um, so this is a sort of quickest introduction of polarized light. And uh, how common do you think polarized light is? Very common or very uncommon? Very common. Where do you see it, other than what I just did? Sunlight is actually not polarized, not most of the time. Do you have cameras have polarizing filters on them? Yeah, yeah. So let me pass this around. So if you have a cell phone other than iPhone, or if you have a computer screen, try looking at it through this and turn it around. You will find that it um, changes intensity. Just, I don't know, try it or just pass it on. So any LCD screen is naturally polarized the way it's constructed. Um, Apple, by the way, does things to its phones so that it appears as unpolarized as, as possible. It's like circularly polarized. We won't get into that. So, um, so why? So why are your sunglasses pol like? Okay, so this is all neat, but like, why would you want some polarized sunglass? Like, you know, that you can make the light dimmer and brighter by turning something. All right, that's interesting, but like, why bother making sunglasses polarized? Better contrast. Better contrast? Now, it does make contrast better in a very particular way. Um, I don't know how well you can do it. Um, Whoever has the, is the sun gonna go out? Um, whoever has the polarizing filter, can you point it, uh, look outside the window, look for some spot where you, ha you see a lot of reflect the light, and try turning that filter 90 degrees. Do you see something happening to the reflected light? What happens to reflect light as you turn it? Yeah, yeah, reflect like it's dimmer, right? It's because, so sunlight is not naturally polarized, but as it reflects, it can get polarized. So that's what I want you to go over in the next part. Uh, so everyone here has a visual image of uh, how, what sort of polarized light looks like, or some, some, in some sort of abstract sense. So everyone here, we went over light is an electromagnetic wave, right? So this is the visual image I want you to have. Sort of imagine the location of each of these rings as representing um, electric field, direction and magnitude. So if I have a light that's polarized this way, then I could represent it with a wave that looks like, oops, um, I, I could rep represent it with a wave that looks like this. You know, electric field that's uh, oscillating up and down. So, a so this would be vertically polarized light, and the other polarization that's uh, orthogonal to this I can get is this direction. So it would be like something that's polarized this way. So um, polarization is something you can get from any transverse wave, like this wave on a string. Everyone here remembers the phrase transverse wave? All that means is the displacement is perpendicular to the propagation direction. 
Um, the other one is the longitudinal wave. Sound waves are longitudinal wave. So the sound waves cannot be polarized because it's a, um, the displacement is along the direction of propagation. So like when you turn in 90 degrees, nothing really changes. So that's the visual image I want you to have. Um, and with that visual image, let me try to go over what's called uh, what's called the Brewster angle. I don't think your textbook refers to it that way. Or um, we could call it um, polarization by reflection. So this is the picture I want you to imagine. Um, let's, we've been using example of water. So let's say water. I have this very flat water surface. And let's say I have orange sunlight that's uh, coming into this water. I have sunlight coming in. And let me just draw one ray that's going to come bounce off of a point on the surface. There will be something reflected and there will be something refracted. Good. Um, and as I said twice now, sunlight is not polarized. So within this uh, ray of light, if you look at the oscillating electromagnetic wave, you will get the electro electric field that's oscillating um, in the two possible directions that are both perpendicular to this. So one possible direction would be one possible direction would be um, oscillating this way, so perpendicular, sort of up and down. What's the other way that it can be oscillating that's perpendicular to this? Yeah, in and out. So it, the light, sunlight, it could be polarized in this way. Let's call that direction A. Or it could be polarized so that it's going into the board, and then as it oscillates, comes out of the board. This we would, let's call that B. So those are two possible polarization of this unpolarized light. And as it hits here, um, you can sort of think of it as 50% of the light intensity is polarized this way. 50% of the light, polar, uh, light intensity is polarized this way. That's what makes it unpolarized. It's a little bit more nuanced than that, but that's good enough for us now. And what I want to describe is as this, uh, both types of electric fields reflect here, they reflect differently. Uh, let me actually step back a little bit. Um, so if you look at the picture kind of microscopically, what produces this reflected light? Something produces it. Does the sun produce this reflected light, light directly? No, it's going the wrong direction, right? So I want you to go back to, so light is an electromagnetic wave. What do you need to produce an electromagnetic wave? A change of current. You could do it with a current. Yeah. Or change of uh, magnetic field. Also still current, which is magnetic current, yeah. So I want to describe things as electrically as possible. Um, so what Gauger is trying to describe is what's called the magnetic dipole radiation. I want electric dipole radiation. Oh, I guess we don't really cover this in 4B. So you could generate this, uh, um, so this wave, this kind of polarization, you could imagine that being generated by a charge that's oscillating up and down this way. That'll produce this kind of um, uh, uh, the, elect the light that's polarized this way. Or if I have a charge that's oscillating into and out of the board this way, that'll generate electric field that's oscillating that way, so the light polarized this way. So as this uh, electromagnetic wave hits this surface, how, um, so this is what I want to say. This reflected light, it's coming from the water. How, is, how does water contain charges that's going to be radiating light? Does the water have any charge in it? Yes, it does. It's made up of protons and electrons. 
So there are electrons in water. So these, the, there are electric charges in water that interact with this incoming light. So this light incident here, that's going to shake this uh, charge uh, up and down this way, or I guess a better picture right now is the charge that, uh, so um, charge that's here, when it interacts with the light that's polar is going in and out of the board, this charge is going to be shaking. It's going to be shaking in and out of the board. So that's going to produce light that's polarized this way. From this charge that's shaking into and out, into and out, there will be light polarized uh, going out this way that's polarized that same way, into and out of the board. And I don't know if uh, people remember this one particular feature of uh, dipole radiation. When you have an electric charge and it's shaking up and down, it, um, there's one particular region where you don't get a lot of radiation. Do people remember that? Yeah, we don't really cover that. So um, I, don't, I see I don't have a lot of time. So let me just uh, point you to places where you can kind of experiment with this on your own. So there's a place called Bat. Um, how many here don't know phet.colorado.edu? So, so that's the website, phet.colorado.edu. Bat, they have a lot of physics simulations. The one particular simulation I want you to um, look at on your own time is there's a, I'm going to search for it. Radiation? Oh, I guess maybe I'll do it here. Lights and radiation. Ah, here is this, radiating charge. So what I was trying to kind of gesture with my charge is if I have this charge, and if, uh, you know, if it's moving at some constant speed, nothing interesting will happen. So if it's, uh, let's see, if it's uh, linear, then it won't really generate any wave. To generate wave, you need to have it uh, oscillating, like a sinusoidal. So as it oscillates in sinusoidal, you know, oscillates up and down, you see these waves being generated, right? There's one direction where you don't see any waves, though. This direction, right? You don't see any wave. And you know, in an upper division electrodynamics class, you do drive them mathematically and all, all that using Maxwell's equations. We're not going to do that. But I want you to just know that it's a qualitative fact that when you have a charge that's oscillating in one direction, then along this axis of oscillation, you won't get any uh, radiation. So that's how these two polarizations interact differently. So the one that's polarized into and out of the board, as it bounces, well, as it's oscillating that way, the, the, there's no issue with the light being propagated this, this way. But for the other polarization, if you get this in just the right way, so that the light that has been refracted is going in a way so that um, this perpendicular direction, which is the direction that charges are oscillating, somehow lines up with this per perfectly, then um, then there will be no, uh, no radiation that's going in this way that's uh, polarized this way because there's nothing that could be making charges shake that way. So, so that's the geometric arrangement. And the derivation of Brewster's angle or the angle at which you get polarization, you work through this geometry. Your textbook does it, so I don't think I have to go through it in detail other than to just sketch it. So the way you would do it is, you have this incident angle, theta 1. You have this outgoing angle, theta 2. You can relate this using Snell's law. right? And the condition you impose is, OK, I know this uh, reflected uh, uh, angle of reflection. So I know what direction this is going. And this is the piece you need. You need to be able to say that somehow the angle between the reflected ray and the refracted ray, it, ray is 90 degrees. Under that condition, there's no oscillation of charge uh, in the medium that would uh, um, produce the other polarization so the light is 100% polarized. So, um, so as a matter of general sort of, I don't know, useful life fact is that when sunlight reflects at a glazing angle from a surface like that, 
more percent of the light is polarized horizontally. So they make these polarizing sunglasses in a way to block that po uh, horizontally polarized light um, so that you can see better through glares. You, you'll see that if you turn your head to 90 degrees, then you actually get extra glares <laughs> because it's blocking the other light, but letting through the light that has been polarized through reflection. So you have some homework problems related to that. Read it on your own and try it. 